My name is Rhiannon Stiles. I'm Elle Magazine's transgender columnist. On this episode of The New Girl, we're going to talk about what it's like when you come out to your family as being transgender. I told my sister that I was transgender first. She was home visiting from Australia one Christmas. As we were driving through my home village, I thought, well, it's now or never. And I said to her, I've got something to tell you. She said, what? I said, well, I've always kind of known that I'm a girl and I think it's about time that I'm going to start exploring it. And she said, her first reaction was, oh my God, are you going to tell mum? I knew eventually that I would have to tell my parents and my grandparents that I was trans. I ultimately knew that as time went on and I was presenting as female that they would, they would have to know. I went home at Christmas 2012, having lived as Rhiannon for six months already. I went home as Ryan for those three days because I couldn't, I couldn't, didn't feel like I could just turn up and be like, okay, uh, I'm Rhiannon now, surprise. It was then that I knew I had to write them a letter and tell them. I didn't feel that I'd be able to see them in person and fully explain the situation. So I wrote them a letter and that letter took a long time to write. I think it took me about two months and I addressed the letter to my mum, my dad and my brothers. And in that letter, the content was talking about how I identified as being trans, how I'd been feeling recently, the depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts I'd been feeling and how I felt that this was a way of me moving forward in my life and how I actually felt that it, it had been there for quite a long period and, and put my life into perspective. In a lot of ways, it was sort of the beginnings of an autobiography. And I remember walking to the post box that day with a letter to my dad in one hand and a letter to my mum in the other and just going, what is this gonna do? This is gonna change their lives and I'm gonna have to be ready for this. Whatever will happen, it's gonna happen. I knew that there was no going back as soon as those letters went in the post box, that they would be aware of everything and that they would know that I was now Rhiannon and not Ryan. <laughs>